Grandma with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel and welcome to our wonderful outdoor kitchen, which my husband's prepared for me today. What we're gonna do today is elk camp chili. I have a dear friend that loves to give us elk in the fall when he's been out hunting. So we're gonna do a chili today with it. We've got our cast iron skillet. This is a 12 inch one. And we put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of it. Cause elk doesn't have a lot of grease in it. It's very, very lean, very, very good for you. So we're gonna start out here first with about a pound, pound and a half of elk burger. And that's nice and hot. I'm gonna get this browning. Yeah, my husband made this a few years ago, and boy, do we love this. We cook most of our meals outside, love it. Of course, today, you know, challenging, middle of October, wind's blowing, fresh snow in the mountains, but we're having fun. And what we've done here is I've got Probably a cup of onions, diced, not finely diced. We got some fresh garlic going on, about four or five cloves. Of course, we've got green pepper I'll be putting into that. And then we've got kidney beans that I've drained and got them prepared in here with tomatoes, canned tomatoes, um, cumin, pepper, and chipotle peppers. That's what's gonna give this a real kick. So we'll keep browning this. It's kind of slow because we got some wind going on here. Just remember, if you like this, please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave us a comment. All right, we're going to continue on here, and we'll see you in a bit here. Well, our hamburger and onions and garlic are browning really nice here. We got a good fire going and smoke. Not too much smoke. OK, I'm ready to put my beans in here and then we're going to put the lid on and let it cook for about an hour and a half of course we'll keep watching the fire here stir this up really good of course we're going to stir it you know as it's cooking Oh boy, this is going to be yummy. Okay, there we go. We'll put the lid on and let it cook for an hour and a half. Of course, the smoke's in my eyes. And this is a 12 inch Dutch oven, which works perfect for this amount of ingredients. There we go, we'll see you in about an hour and a half. Just in time to eat. Well, it's been about an hour and a half and our winds come up, that's Wyoming. I'm gonna check it and I'm sure it is done. Oh my, yes. It looks absolutely beautiful. I have stirred it a couple times and we have added more wood. Yep. It is ready to eat. There we go. I'm going to put the lid back on. We're going to take it inside and we'll show you our finished product. Well, another wonderful meal done in our Dutch oven. I love Dutch oven cooking. And you know, it doesn't matter what the weather is, whether the weather is wonderful out there or it's crappy it always turns out great. You can come in and do it in your own kitchen if you want to. And of course, this is our elk camp chili. And if you don't have elk, you can always use beef. And we just want you to please thank, I want to thank you today for joining us. We do have a wonderful website. It's called wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go there, there's a free guide and a recipe book. And also we are an Amazon affiliate. So you can order some of my wonderful spices and cookware, which I love the enamel 
cast iron cookware. It is really good. What also goes really good with this chili is homemade cornbread, or you can buy the cornbread mix. And anyway, one of our videos coming up, we are going to do that in a Dutch oven, and it is wonderful. But as you can see, this is a very rich, hearty chili. It's nice and thick, and I can smell the spices. And if you don't want it this spicy, you do not have to put as many of the and the chipotle peppers that I have put in here. And then of course we like to sprinkle it with a little bit of our favorite cheddar cheese. There we go. That looks wonderful. Here's to all of our viewers. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you. Please tell all of your family and friends and share. And just remember to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment. Till we meet again, thank you.